Hello everyone. Today I want to talk to you about choosing your guitar. Which one is right for you? So you have a couple of options. One, the acoustic guitar. Number two, the electric guitar. Now within that first acoustic category, you have a couple of options. You can either get the plain acoustic guitar, or you can get the acoustic electric guitar. And what makes the acoustic electric guitar, in my opinion, a better buy is the ability to take a quarter inch chord and output that into an external amplifier or PA system so you can be heard at a louder volume. This is ideal for any performance situations or any time you just want to amplify your sound. Now the other type of guitar is the electric guitar. The electric guitar will require an external amplifier. It's not like the acoustic guitar where you can just play it not plugged in and it provides enough volume. So make sure you budget that in. If you want the electric guitar, you're going to need the electric guitar itself as well as an external amplifier. Now you might be asking yourself, which guitar is right for me? And I'll tell you, it all depends on what style of music you want to play. So if you want to play more distorted rock and roll, grunge, you are 100% going to need an electric guitar. The acoustic guitar can just not put out those types of sounds. And now if you want more of a soft, mellow, warm, intimate sound, I would say definitely go with the acoustic guitar. But between the two, the electric guitar is definitely the more versatile one. Depending on your amplifier, you can go from a very dirty, grungy sound to a very clean and you know melodic, pretty sound. It all depends on what kind of amplifier you have, and you want to make sure you get a quality one. I think Fender makes some amazing amplifiers. My amp that I have for my electric guitar is called the Hot Rod DeVille. Let's tackle what strings you should pick for your guitar. You have two options, the steel string or the nylon string. And your choice should be based on what style of music you want to play. The nylon string is mostly found in classical and some folk music, whereas in the steel string can be found in blues, rock and roll, country, and pretty much every other genre. The steel string is definitely the more popular one. Now when you first start out, you'll probably tell yourself, there's no way my little fingers will stretch across those frets and get those tough bar chord shapes and all those other shapes. But let me reassure you that with time, your fingers will be able to do those. It just takes time to readjust and your fingers have never been in those certain positions before, so it just takes a little bit of extra time. So make sure that your guitar selection is not influenced by your fear of how big the frets are and your inability to reach out and really get all those shapes because with time you will be able to. Now the last thing I want to leave you guys with is the price points for your guitar. You can buy a guitar for 50 bucks or five thousand dollars. The most important thing in selecting a guitar is the intonation. So if you play a G chord in one position on the guitar and you move up the neck and play it on another position, is it close to that tonal center or is it a half step off? because with cheaper guitars as you move up the neck and play those notes the pitches change so a G on the third fret of the low string isn't the same as a G on the the eighth fret of the the second string the B string so you want to make sure that the intonation is consistent throughout the neck of the guitar another very important factor in choosing your guitar is picking a guitar that holds tune and what I mean by this is after you put it away or after you've been playing it for a while, does it keep the pitch that you originally tuned it to? Because sometimes, let's say you put a guitar away at night in its case, and you pull it out the next day and all of the strings are just completely out of tune. It's really a pain in the butt to always be tuning your guitar and you want a guitar that holds tune.